What's going on guys? Welcome to Spurred On and this is the Europa League debate between myself, Craig Mitch and Rhys James. Now look, we have very different opinions on the Europa League. Um, I'm completely against it and Rhys is going to try his best to convince me and you guys that the Europa League is something worth being a part of. So Rhys, kick it off. Shouldn't take much convincing mate. One word, dollar. Dollar? Bit of wedge, mate. You, you get loads of money for the Europa League. Yeah. Not only are you selling more tickets to more football matches, but you're also getting the TV rights. And if you win it, there's cash prizes and there's prizes for how far along you go in the competition. I tell you what we need as a club, money. So we can sign better players and get in the Champions League. So there's more money. dollar for the clubs, but for the fans that have to travel all the way to Moscow or all the way to the Antarctica and play in places where they don't want to be, spend money on trips, hotels and all this stuff to see average football and us get knocked out, you're just thinking about the club. What about us? What about us? Yeah, what about us? We get to become more cultured when we go to all these Eastern European places, right. just like the players do. Get to broaden our horizons a bit, yeah? <laughs> Isn't it about time we did that rather than just staying in North London all the time? Get out there, get to Russia see what it's all about. And you go to Russia, maybe you get to meet, you, in Eastern Europe, you see all the dictators. You know, you got <laughs> Putin, you got Milosevic, you got the other ones. Maybe Pochettino will pick up a trick or two and start being a bit more hard when he's having a go at the players. All right, let's talk about the clear correlation though between playing on a Thursday and on a Sunday and the amount of points we drop. I mean, it's, everyone knows playing in the Europa League on a Thursday is a burden. When we go and play in that Premiership on a Sunday, the players are tired, they've been training in another country. We played in Fiorentina on a Thursday, yeah. trained in Fiorentina on a Friday, then played a Carling Cup final on a Sunday. You're telling me that doesn't have some sort of effect? Yeah, it does, but personally, I'm busy on Tuesday and Wednesdays. Tuesday, I've got Pilates. Wednesdays, I've got CrossFit. Pilates. Thursday mornings, I've got paper round, so I have to be in bed early busy on a Wednesday man. night. Thursday night's Channel 5. I like Channel 5. Good channel. Thursday night's Channel 5, much better chant. Thursday night's Channel 5. Scans a lot better than Tuesdays or Wednesdays. ITV1 or Sky Sports 1. <laughs> Sounds a lot better. Fair enough, but it, what about our domestic season? Does that mean anything to you? You haven't addressed that point. Yeah, but what? So we, we're going to try yet again to try and get top four, not get it because there's at least six teams better than us. And then we're going to... Our best chance, that's it. Yeah. That's our best chance. Yeah, but we've missed off by like, what, five points? Five points we've probably dropped within the 30 from playing in the Europa throughout the season. No chance. No chance? We were never, we're not going to get top four for the next three years. Our best chance of Champions League is if we win the Europa League, which is a much better chance of doing. You reckon? Dnipro are in the final, mate. Yeah. We're yeah. going to sign their best player, and then he's going to have the experience to get us there to the top. And then we'll have to beat Seville in the final, obviously. But okay, let's talk about the that. fact that the players just don't care about the Europa League. They can come out, they can try and convince us with all this bravado and all these media trained answers, but everyone knows they want to play in the Champions League. It's as simple as that. You are a social lepra if you play in the Europa. Oh, I'm Ericsson, and then I've got to go and have, I don't know, dinner with Ertzel one day, because we know they're friends even though they play for separate yeah. teams. Snakes. Sort it out. And one of them's just like, yeah, well, you know, I'm in the Champions League. How's Europa doing? How's things going over there? Training for that match in yeah, giving wherever that Serbia. That is why you play the kids. Uh, the future, that's what you want. Pritchard, maybe even Tom Carroll if he comes back. Uh, Deli Alley. Suddenly they get embedded into the team and they're ready for 2017 when we win the Premiership. Yeah, but then you've got players like Saldado who rely on their goal bonus in Europa League. Oh, I'm a, well, at least if I don't score in the Prem, I can always go and score in the Europa and pick up, you know, money there. Exactly. He needs to make the Prem his priority. They're just thinking no, about Europa. We I can get goals should, in Europa. So we should play Soldado in the Premiership, is what you're saying? Yeah, you got a point there. you got a point. But what I'm saying is, maybe if there was it's no good. distraction of the Europa, then they'll be taking the less competitions that we have more seriously as well. Some of them are always thinking, like oh, I can get my way out by having a good performance in Europa. But we don't need to be there. Focus on it's, our domestics. It's an okay point. What about the fact that we've got a rich history in Europe? We do. We were the first Unlike British Arsenal. club to win a U UEFA club competition yeah. in 1972. Yeah. We won the UEFA Cup in 1984. Mm. And uh, maybe we can go back to the glory days. And how far back are the glory days? Was you alive? Yeah, no, was I alive? In many ways, no. Was Harry Redknapp but... alive? And he's old. I mean, we just can't win Europe. Let's face it, we just can't. There's no point. We've had better teams than a lot of the players, uh, a lot of the teams that have been in Europe for the past few seasons that we've been in the Europa, and we just can't win it. I know, but There's we've had better teams than a lot of players wrong. in the Premier League, and we can't finish above them. So. Yeah, it's true. Well, anyway, guys, this has been the Europa League debate. These are our opinions. You don't have to agree with us. I've won it. According to him. Well, Leave debate. your comments below and let us know who you agree with. Do you One agree nil. with Reese? Or do you agree yeah. with me? No. Obviously you do. Why Leave your you? comments below. Make sure you subscribe. And this has been Spurred On.
And、uh, on today's show, we are talking about transfer rumors. In this part two, the things that have got us excited.、Uh, there's a few players that have been kind of surrounding our club at the moment. 